I am not shocked that Donald Trump won. In one of my older videos, I said that he was gonna get back in office. Um, but what I wanna do in this particular video is respond back to quite a few people who emailed me. Um, if you see my title, The Reaction of Christians in this 2024 election. It's just sad. Excuse that our plane. It's sad. Um, if you are truly studying, as we talk about a lot of times on here, you shouldn't be shocked at the results. You shouldn't be shocked at what you see because the simple fact it's a system. I even heard one lady today say she wanted to kill herself. She really wanted to commit suicide because Trump is in the office again. They've been interviewing so many people talking about they sad and how can we move on in life. This is ridiculous to me. And I'm not trying to talk down on nobody, y'all, in no kind of way, but I don't have no joy. One lady said, I don't have no joy no more. My joy, my hope, everything is gone. Really? Because Donald Trump won again? See, it shows you the faith of so many people. I didn't get my joy from the world. So how can the world take my joy? Donald Trump been down across from my sins. You see what I'm saying? I told y'all, it didn't matter who won. What's according to the Bible is going to happen. Preachers I know. Sad. Walking around with their head down because Trump won. See, it's amazing how many people say they love Jesus. Oh, I love Jesus. But then you look at stuff like this. I heard one woman say, where is Jesus at? How could Jesus allow Trump to win? What kind of world are we living in? As we've been saying on her for years. There's nothing that's a shock to the Holy Spirit. At all. But to hear people all at the store, my um, crying and just sad. One man came up to me and asked me, brother, man, here we go again. I said, here we go again with what? Man, Trump, what we going to do about this? Man, we need a leader. We need a black leader. I said, here we go again with this black leader crap. I don't need a black leader. All we ever needed was our Heavenly Father, our Savior. Case closed. Man, America gonna get worse and worse. And worse. Man, America's being judged. The government cannot save you. If you study in the Bible and you know what's to truly come, See, most of these Christians won't even get into the book of Revelation. If you know what's to come, then you know. The system, it's over with. We just living in it. So don't be surprised when you see the groceries keep going up, the rent keep going up, taxes, the oil, so you got to catch what he says. He's trying to make America back great again. Make America back affordable again. It ain't always been affordable for everybody. And the damn show sure ain't been great for everybody. So, when you look at stuff like this, they got to put the people in position that they need in position to continue to do exactly what they supposed to do. And to all of y'all walking around here sad, I'll pray for you. It is like y'all got y'all trust in man. And I'm not talking about everybody. My trust ain't never been in the president. See, I'm going to say something that most people don't even get. President don't run this world. 
Go back to when Obama was in office. President Obama was just being used as a puppet. There's so many people think the president really, really runs this world. The people that are really, really in charge of a lot of things, you don't even see their faces. You really don't. You don't even really hear their names being called out. Because we got many, many forerunners of the Antichrist. Many. Now I leave you on that. Shalom.